In this podcast, I want to talk about uh, assignment number six and preparation for assignment number six. Uh, the, um, in this particular assignment, you're going to be implementing the, uh, uh, the stop info class. Uh, and uh, the, uh, you had uh, experience with the stop info class in assignment number five. This is essentially uh, that solution which we looked at at a previous uh, podcast. And you'll see here that there is a constructor that is being used that has passed a line of data. And that line of data has the following format. Let's open this up. Uh, it's a comma delimited file that has as the first parameter a stop ID, uh, third parameter a stop name, we have the fifth parameter is uh, latitude, and the sixth is longitude. And those are the data items that uh, that we want. Um, so that uh, a line with that form is passed to the stop info class and then uh, what you're required to do is uh, implement that method that essentially takes that data, uh, pulls out the constituent pieces, uh, especially the ones that are related to stop ID, stop name, latitude, and longitude. So uh, in uh, preparation for this, um, we need to use uh, the string class, and the string class uh, has its. Uh, there's documentation for this at c++.com. Uh, if you take a look at uh, these uh, these string operations, there's a number of here of them here that you're going to be interested in, especially the substring, uh, finding the first of so the first character. Um, uh, there, there's uh, you if you want to look at uh, let's take a look at this. This will find the first uh, character um, that uh, uh, within the string that is of that form. So, for instance, if you're looking for a comma. So you can use find first of, um, give it a comma, um, and then uh, these parameters uh, uh, of the, the size tell you it says how many um, uh, how many items do you actually want to get. So typically you're going to uh, want to search for one. Although there is a version here, I think it's uh, position zero. So it starts position is the first character of the string to be considered. I believe that's the one that you actually, uh, this is the one that you actually want. Um, these others, yeah, so this one will work as well. This, uh, uh, you can pass it a string or you can pass it a, a um, character. So the way that uh, this is actually used is um, the following. Um, let me just put it in a scratch somewhere here. Uh, it's a uh, find first of, and then you would pass it the thing that you want to search for, um, and uh, I believe you have to pass it. Uh, you have to pass it the string itself. Uh, no, it, actually, the, it's uh, declared as part of the string. So it's a. So if I have a string called s, so it would be s dot find first of. Uh, and then this will return an integer, or actually it'll, it'll return a size t object. Uh, and size t, this would this is essentially just uh, uh, similar to an integer. Um, so anyway, uh, you can use this to find where the different uh, commas are in the input file. So you see here the input file. Uh, and then you can take the substring based on those positions. So find the location of that first uh, uh, first comma. Do the substring for for this uh, part of the string, uh, and then look for the next comma. Ignore that one. Go to the next one, uh, and then get the stop name. So anyway, um, it's a it's a uh, fairly short program. Um, uh, you're uh, essentially just implementing the uh, the constructor. Uh, there are methods in here for getting the latitude and longitude and all that, but th that's all used uh, essentially to print the uh, uh, print the actual stop information. You won't actually be using that uh, and you're not well you're not going to be implementing that piece of the uh, of the code. You're only implementing 
the stop info. Uh, you're going to implement the destructor. You're going to implement get latitude, get longitude, um, get the stop ID, which is a string, and the stop name. Now, I uh, want to make note here that these strings here are uh, are pointers to strings because you are going to have to make sure that uh, uh, they are persistent or at least relatively persistent um, in the uh, um, in the class. So anyway, that is the uh, uh, that is the assignment uh, to implement uh, this class so that it will integrate into uh, your solution for assignment five.